Hi, I'm Bobby Lee from Square. This tutorial is an overview of our Bookings API. The Bookings API lets you create applications that allow buyers to create and manage bookings with sellers. I'll go over how to retrieve a business's location, hours, and bookable time slots. Then I'll find a customer to book the appointment for. Okay, prerequisites. Make sure you have a Square developer account and at least one app created, and we'll take it from there. The first thing we need to do is a one-time initialization of the Square appointment service with a chosen Square account. This process is referred to as onboarding, and it's done in the Sandbox Seller dashboard. It's essential to do this step, so let's get started. Sign into the Square Developer Dashboard, and under Applications is the Sandbox Test Account section. Click Open next to Default Test Account. Now on the dashboard, click Appointments on the left side navigation pane. Then on the Square Appointments page, click Get Started to start initializing appointments. Now I'll enter a random business name. How about Goldie Salon? Phone number 555 and the rest fives. And time zone for testing purposes, Pacific time zone. Then click Get Started again, and let's just skip the downloading app link text for now. Okay, cool. Now on the appointments homepage, click services in the left side navigation pane, and you'll see a few pre-created services. And if you wanna create your own service, just click create service. Now our final step is to verify this. Navigate to the API Explorer to verify the Sandbox account booking profile. Set the API to bookings and the endpoint to retrieve business booking profile. Set the access token to the app you wanna test Goldie's appointments, and run the request. Okay, great, we got a 200 response, which means we have successfully onboarded our business and we can create bookings for Goldie's salon via the Bookings API. All right, next step, we'll need to supply the ID of a business location. So to do that, let's change the API to locations and set the endpoint to list locations, and then run the request. And here in the response, in addition to the business address, you can also see the business hours so that we do not attempt to create a booking outside of these hours. And something to note, these times are localized to the time zone of the business. So be sure to check the time zone of that location when your customers are creating bookings. Next, let's specify a bookable service available for customers. A bookable service is represented by a catalog item variation object with its available for booking attribute set to true. To specify a bookable service, you reference the catalog item variation object ID. So to find that, let's set this to catalog API and select the search catalog items endpoint. Then scroll down and select product types and choose appointment service and run the request. And let's grab the color treatment service variation ID and save that for later. Okay, now that we have that set up, let's search for an available slot this customer can book by calling the search availability endpoint of the bookings API. So I'll select Bookings API and Search Availability Endpoint, and then scroll down to click Add next to Query, then Add again for Search Availability Filter, and Start At Range starts with End At, which needs to be a daytime value. So if I wanted to see all available bookings from 9 to 2 p.m., I put in these timestamps. Then add our location ID, and lastly, the service variation ID of the color treatment, which as a reminder is the ID of the catalog item variation representing the service booked in this segment. Now run the request. Okay, so in the response, make sure to save the following values to create the booking. Time slots available for a customer, the duration of the appointment segment, team member ID, service variation ID, and the service variation version. So now we have everything required to call create booking. So let's create a booking by setting the endpoint to create booking. Then next to booking, click add, then add again for appointment segment, set duration minutes to 45, paste in the service variation ID, service variation version, team member ID, then scroll down to add customer ID, and then location ID. And lastly, I'll paste in start at. Okay, now run the request. Okay, awesome. 201 response, status accepted. Now we've officially created the booking, so let's see if it came through in our Sandbox Seller dashboard. So back in the dashboard, click appointments, and as you can see, our next upcoming appointment is a color treatment for 45 minutes. So there you have it. We just went through our booking CPI from top to bottom. 
we went over how to do a one-time initialization of the Square appointment service with a chosen Square account. Next, we went over how to find and set up an available slot for a customer to book. And lastly, we showed you how to finalize your booking and see it on your dashboard. If you have any further questions, let us know in the comments. Happy coding!